Okay, welcome into this week's Twin Flame reading. I am using um, this Ascension deck, Twin Flame Ascension deck, to start us off with. Welcome if you're new to my channel. Hello, welcome in. Hope everybody's doing great today. If you like the content I create, uh, please hit the like button. That will help other people see the channel. Help me out that way. And uh, you'll also get notified if you subscribe and hit the little bell. Get notified of any new videos I make. I will be doing an extended for this reading. Uh, and uh, I will pull cards for each zodiac sign just to give you some deeper insight. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Twin Flame Collective right now. Okay, let's see. Oh, check it out. <laughs> All right, welcome home. Mission accomplished. Okay, end of reading, I guess. <laughs> wow. So the card that's underneath is, to me, is always this energy of what's going on in the quantum. So I feel like y'all are aligned with peace and whatever your mission is. Some of you are now coming into alignment because your, your 3D life may or may not register this mission or purpose. But I feel like some of you are going to be having a dream space or, or astral travel or whatever go, is going on in your dream time or whatever's going on subconsciously for you, that it's like, okay, okay, <clears throat> I am aligned with the mission that I'm here to do now. And, you know, when we're aligned with our mission, we're making choices in the 3D, in our daily life, in this experience that we're having uh, that are moving us toward that mission. So you may see yourself being like, yeah, I used to, think I wanted this, but now I'm making different kinds of choices. All right. I may be making a choice to move. I may be making a choice to not hang out with a certain group of people anymore. I may be making a decision that um, puts my mission first. Okay. You just see yourself changing. And that is likely because the mission is slowly being revealed to you. Our missions are rarely revealed to us like all in one fell swoop. Okay. But there's a sense of like, okay, I'm on the trail, right? That feels pretty good. Healing separation, go within. Mystical messages, follow the signs. Wow. And beyond illusion, change your perception. So what's going on spiritually is very peaceful and aligned there's a sense of like we are uh, there's a we're, you're always together you're always connected there's no uh, separation is an illusion but now there's some kind of peace around no matter where it where the connection is in the 3d you're having some kind of peace around it so it's like whatever whatever we're doing in the in the physical world i'm not really giving as much weight to that as i used to not really making it the most important thing. The, the 3D expression of myself as divine feminine and you as divine masculine and how that is working or not working, whatever in the 3D is sort of like, now I'm really seeing how much of less importance that is, okay? And this is about changing your perception. Shift your perception. A lot of hanged man energy uh, recently I have been, um, you know, sort of aligning with that as surrender and releasing, because if and if you are looking to your 3D world and using that as validation or invalidation of your journey, uh, like nothing's happening in my 3D life, and so it's not, it's not. This is a, and I get all, I get all crazy about it. It's like that's not going to be happening anymore because I feel like you're you're shifting into some kind of beautiful awareness of your own integration, your own separation, healing that separation within. There is nothing separating you. We are all connected at the God source, all of us, not just twin flames. All of us are connected and we are each a piece of the God source. So even with uh, false flames, or mm, I don't like that term, you know, karmic partners, soulmates, uh, twin flame, no matter what the connection is, there's, there's a real awareness 
that you've shifted into that says nothing that isn't meant for me will, nothing that is meant for me will pass me by. And so whatever the 3D expression of that is, good, right? It's just like, that's what true manifesting is. You're aligned with mission and you're going with the flow. You're co-creating with the universe. You're just, okay, Every I see everything as useful, everything as lesson, everything as like, oh, wow, now I get a chance to learn this. Now I get a chance to learn that because I am seeing myself as more all powerful in the sense that I am a manifester, a master manifester in this life. And so everything that is happening, I am manifesting it. And it doesn't mean that that other people, that you don't have free will. Free will is about making choices when you're manifesting something in your life. Free will is about making the choice of how you work with that. And true manifesting is like letting go of how something is gonna materialize. It's just like, okay, I'm manifesting my twin flame. I got to let go of, well, it should look like this. It should look like this and then this and then this and then this. It's like, you know what? I am going to give myself what I need. I am going to be my best friend. I am going to be my best partner. And that person who's in the 3D walking around may have some other challenges that have nothing to do with me. We may be mirroring each other. We may be, you know, whatever we're doing here. It feels a little bit like you finally uh, come to peace with this and like whatever it's going to be is 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 part of the lesson. OK, so let's see what the reading shows for the collective. I will also pull cards for divine feminine and divine masculine separately. All right. So what is going on for the collective, please? Seven of Cups. This is the cards underneath. Again, this is how we're how we are well let me get through this five of cups eight of swords sorry eight of swords there's hanged man hanged man nine of wands and the page of sword page of wands sorry so there's a sense of like you seeing in your this is the cards that are underneath so this is what's going on in the quantum field it's like you have had these experiences it's not that they're not real okay you've had disappointments with this connection you've had levels of lack of clarity that are stunningly big, right? Stunningly enormous. And you've also not really seen the next step a lot of times, not really seen where it's going. This is about surrendering to the awareness that everything is always working out for me. Nine of wands. There are patterns and that helps me. Think about it this way, like, oh, patterns. I got to get out of this old pattern. But patterns help you because you're like, oh, wait, I know this one. <laughs> I know it. I can work with this. Now I'm wise. Now I'm a hermit. Now I'm a, a magician. Now I'm a man. Okay, I get it. I see this lesson again. I see myself being upset for not being chosen by this by this person in the 3D. And so automatically I'm telling myself a story that like I am not worthy of this or, um, you know, I don't uh, I I'm not good enough. I'm whatever. You're telling yourself these stories. Even if that makes you mad, good. Let that make you mad because that's 100% not true. You're telling yourself a story because that story exists inside you and it's time to change the story. Page of Wands. Get excited. It's time to get excited about where you're going and things within your, you don't have to, you know, don't put your happiness on hold because someone else has other lessons to learn. Okay. Hierophant, Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Tower, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. So I see you moving forward together. Um, one of you is moving out of a, this is Taurus energy and we are in Taurus right now. Uh, today, as I'm doing this reading, we have the Uranus Kazemi. So that means that Uranus, the planet Uranus, is at the same degree as the sun. And the sun lights up Uranus. And Uranus is about, there's many different paths to where I want to go. It's not just this or that. It's not just like, oh, if this person is not in my 3D life, that means I'm unhappy. Like, you are learning. Okay, you're learning. And this Taurus energy here of the Hierophant, uh, there's likely one of you 
knows that some relationship in the 3D is over. So this could be, I could be talking to a collective that has third party as part of its makeup, as part of the lesson. So if you are the person who's in the commitment, there can be some really uh, deep lessons um, that you're learning. There can be a really strong pull toward the twin flame and that's upsetting in the middle of the night. There's just this feeling of longing and yearning and this Knight of Swords is a little bit about rushing things. So it's like you can't rush. The Taurus energy cannot be rushed. OK, and we're still in we're still in um, this Taurus energy for about another week or so, give or take. And we do have um, uh, a Jupiter Kazemi also going on. So Uranus, the planet of transformation in terms of innovation toward the future. It's not the same as the death uh, transformation of Scorpio. It's about going towards the future. So the, the sun is lighting up Uranus and saying, what can you do differently? Reinventing yourself, completely reinventing yourself. And whoever is in a commitment, there might have been a lot of conversation about reinventing this commitment. But I, I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, I'm not sure if this is a divine feminine, divine masculine I'm talking to. I'm talking to the person who's in this connection, who has a, 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 who's married. And the reason that you're not out of that connection yet, I feel like you will be, I feel like this person will be, is because they haven't figured out how to do 3D relationship. That, that soulmate that they're with, that life partner soulmate, is here to try to get them to review their own way of being in relationship. And there might be a lot of anger or frustration that they aren't able to transform in their life. And so the, that Uranus Kazemi may be saying, how can I do relationship? You know, it's not just about like, OK, I'm getting a divorce and bye with you. It's like I got to really learn something. What's the takeaway? What's the key learnings? What, uh, as I would say in my corporate life, what are the key learnings of this relationship uh, to date? Because I am seeing that I'm getting more and more frustrated and I've got to um, kind of come away with something. All right. I feel like the person who's married in this connection does know that their 3D life has purpose. It's not just about the twin flame, right? It's about what is the purpose? Because some soulmates are life partners are meant to be with people who are twin flames, not with their twin. And, you know, what, what it is for you is your own personal story. But this is a general reading. So I'm just saying, like, the person who's married needs to dig into whatever that lesson is. I feel like they've been running away from it for a long time. It's not just enough to be like, okay, I'm out. That is not going to work because the twin flame, if you are just saying I'm out because I'm going to go toward my twin flame, you got to say, I coming, I'm coming out of this as the hermit. I'm coming out of this with wisdom because it won't work with the twin flame. If you don't, you're in that, you're in that soul contract for a purpose. So if you're the one that's married, that's what's being asked of you is to really dig and, and understand that the connection that you're in right now has a lot of purpose to it. It's, and, and just for this twin flame community, it's not that all these marriages are disposable or anything like that. Not at all. Sometimes these marriages are meant to be and meant to be for long periods of time. And whether it's for their whole life, it's up to them. But I'm just saying to you that there's, it's not just for nothing. There's a big important reason. And by the way, that's a reason, that's a lesson that you could not have taught this divine partner. Okay, so it's not the lesson that you're teaching them. I do feel that there's a sense of taking care of oneself. Okay, I feel like the divine masculine may be the one who's married, who's in a karmic partnership. It is very karmic. There's a lot of karma to clear uh, before that can be released. The divine feminine I'm speaking to really has a sense of their own nurturing. I like that these are feminine. Uh, the pentacles and the cups are both feminine. And there is a little bit of masculine here with that king energy. So the, the masculine is the energy of action. So I feel like the divine feminine here is taking action based on what they want in their life. So the divine feminine can be the divine feminine can be being offered love from a 
soulmate to someone who is not the twin flame. And we'll go deeper into this. Like I said, we'll go deeper into this. I feel like both of you might be a little upset with that, that there's soul contracts that are still needing to happen, but the lesson has not been surrendered to yet. Okay. So I'm going to clarify that a little bit. Go within. Now, this is a, <laughs> so all of those things are going on. The divine feminine may be getting, maybe having a love partnership showing up soon. I'll get some timing on that. The masculine is in a situation they don't know how to get out of. It's mostly because they haven't found the key to the door because they have not learned the lesson yet. Now, all that being said, tower. Tower comes in to blow things up to bring in circumstances from the outside that have ma massive movement possibility. So it's like there's a certain level of stubbornness in the masculine not wanting to learn the lesson. There's a certain level of, okay, well, I'm going to move on. I'm, you know, divine feminine. I'm going to, this love partner showing up. There's a, there's a soulmate energy to it. Feels really good to me. That might be a possibility. And then there's something that goes on and Uranus is sudden energy. I know this is Pluto. We do have Pluto in retrograde that started at the beginning of May. Pluto is still in Aquarius. It's going to be going back into Capricorn, September, October, and a little bit of November. But this energy can be the Kazemi of Uranus suddenly shining light on aha moments, right? On like what it is I need to shift. And then it's like both of you do. And then there's a possibility. Both of you do what I'm saying here. Both of you, both of you choose love in different ways. Both of you are choosing, masculine is choo choosing to learn their lessons and be like, oh, okay, this is what this person is teaching me. Thank you very much. I'm going to learn as much as I can about this. Wow. And then I can move forward. Um, especially if the masculine is feeling stuck here. The feminine is saying, oh, wow, I need to focus on myself. I need to stop focusing on the masculine. I need to take good care of myself. I need to uh, allow soulmates into my life. This is uh, likely a divine feminine group of you who are like nobody but my twin flame. And there's other soul contracts that you have. Okay. And I feel like this is one of them. So let's go deeper into this reading. I'm going to do one thing. Let's look at timing here. The tower is usually like right now. Okay. The tower is very sudden. Ah, when you heal your heart, both of you are in an unhealed position here. And in order for the feminine to have love, Queen of Pentacles is very much about self-nurturance. In order for the masculine to have love, they really have to get out of their head so much. They're really thinking too much. Eight and nine of swords here. Okay. So um, let me clarify the knight of swords for a second. Eight of cups. Three of wands. Chariot. So there's fast movement. I feel like it has to do, I feel like this masculine may have tried to force something. The Knight of Swords says to me, don't force, don't force it. Let things unfold naturally. And this is, this is kind of uh, agreeing with that. This, the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands is sort of like, I'm going to allow myself to learn this. I'm going to allow this to unfold. Some of them may be terrified of divorce or something like that. So that even though they want to go toward love, they're stuck in some kind of mindset uh, about their situation. But I do like this chariot about them, them taking the initiative, not forcing it, but allowing themselves to learn some things and be part of that connection in a way that is, okay, it's like, check the box. I've learned my, I've learned what I came here to learn. Okay, uh, clarify this um, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So this person that's coming in, I feel like the Divine Feminine is 
being bowled over because someone is really offering legit ace of cups, ace of pentacles, all right, something legit. And so they may have the divine feminine. The minute you sort of release your divine masculine, this person comes in, all right, this person comes in, ace of pentacles, and there's a lot of fun and lightheartedness with that knight of wands. It's like healing your heart brings in this person. They're a legit person, but that might be their lesson to you. That you have stopped being in the pain of separation around your twin flame. And you've done that not because of a new person, but because you've said, you know what? I want love in my life. I'm going to attract love in my life. And I do feel like this is about healing your heart. So that person may not be with you for a long time. I don't feel like that's a life partner. I feel like that's an opportunity for fun, lighthearted love. It's almost like it's taking your mind off of this. I've got to have my twin flame. And it's, it's, that was resistance actually. It's turning your attention to something that is higher vibrational. And that can be, it's almost like both of you have been in resistance and there's a shift out of it here very suddenly. So let's go deeper into this reading. Like I said, I'll pull cards for divine feminine, divine masculine, and the, um, the full Zodiac. So let's do a little preview of divine feminine energy and divine masculine. What can I expect to see from the, okay. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Knight of cups, king of cups. Are you talking about a water sign here? We're talking about a water sign. Yes, we're talking about a water sign. I feel like the divine feminine is going to be romanced here uh, quite a bit. And by a water sign, Cancer, Pis Pisces, Scorpio, this might be very, uh, very romantic. And it's like the what this is, is like the the um, the universe is like almost testing you. Like, have you learned your lesson about your patterns? when you decided that you wanted to have love in your life. Okay. Have you learned your lesson? Let's see what happens. Okay. Have you, it's a little test coming from the universe. What about divine masculine? Ace of pentacles, page of wands, empress. Oh my yes. Wow. Okay. This masculine was terrified of some kind of sudden transformation, whether it's a divorce or something like that. But it's almost like this tower is doing it for them. I, I don't want to, I want to say like this masculine has not made any steps forward and has been continually stuck in this repeating pattern. And when they finally surrendered to it and they learned their lesson, Boom. Now they can make a real offer. Now the masculine can make a real offer. Wow. So the feminine, the masculine is healing their heart around fear. The fear of not getting what they want. The fear of having to go through something painful. The fear, 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 fear. Right. And especially as we're anchored in Taurus right now, Taurus is about practicality and what makes us comfortable. And maybe this breakup uh, of a soulmate relationship is going to be uncomfortable, but it's not as uncomfortable as staying in it. Nine of swords. All right. So when they learn the lesson, poof, that's what happens when we learn a lesson uh, with a soulmate. Sometimes the, that soulmate goes away. So it can be that the, it's a much smoother sale than they think because they've learned the lesson. Like they were keeping themselves in a torture chamber. Wow. All right, let's keep going with this reading. I will, like I said, I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign. So if you want to continue on with me, there's a link below. See you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.